Hey everyone, it's me and Ellie. I thought I would do a quick state of play thing. Just quick. Um, I don't know if I'll do. It depends on how like exciting it is. If it's not like super exciting or like has anything I actually care about, I'm going to just ignore it. Just post it on this. But yeah, on just my second channel, and not do any highlight thing for the for my main channel. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been quick. It's fifty. It's like forty minutes. It's like forty minutes. What's like <sighs> forty minutes? I don't. Let's see. I've seen some stuff, but I'm like, let's see if there's any stuff I actually care about. Oh, earlier I saw the um, Layton thing. The World of Steam. I was like, Wee! That was really cute. Um, I'm lucky I played all of Layton. All the Layton games. Even the bad ones. The two bad ones. I Listen, I didn't like Layton Brothers. Sue me. I don't give a fuck. I didn't like Layton Brothers. I thought the ending was stupid. I thought the end was stupid. I thought the end was stupid and yeah, whatever. They, I, I, that, that, that game, oh god, I don't like it. But Catrail is objectively a worse game. Catrail, the Catrail game, objectively a worse game. But the anime, it was meant for kids, but the plot ones, the plot heavy ones are the best episodes. It was so cute. Catrail, they can never make me hate you. They can never make me hate her. They can never make me hate a Catrail. Never, because in the anime, no, in the game, she's like, oh, whatever. But in the anime, she's so cute. I love her personality. They can never make me hate you, Catriel. They can never. Anyway. Anyway, I'll stand by. <laughs> I'm eating my tacos while I'm at it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I have any piss babies in the audience? Do I have any bubble blowing babies? I don't think so. Anyway. Oh, I need to put. I have. My brother has Astro Bot, so I can play Astro Bot. Should I, should I record it? Should I, should I play through? Play through? Let me know. Oh, there's a uh, what the fuck is this? Um, Fall Guys. Probably won't do this, but just like the main thing. Companies fucking do that. DLC and no extra cost. After people already paying for hundred fucking bucks for games, okay? Fucking make free DLC or put it at the end of the game. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm a boomer. Talk being like, just wait. Whatever. Claymation. Hmm. Wait, oh, horror? Is this horror? Horror? I'm gonna have to look at it. I love horror. You already know. Oh, I'm gonna like the designs. Oh. I have PS5. It gives like little nightmare vibes. Yeah, it gives little nightmare vibes. Oh. 
Ooh, I'm taking this out. I love creepy shit. This I have action. It's even like Until Dawn, like the Little Hope anthology, Little Hope. Oh, war. Oh, war. Okay, oh, war. Okay, political war. Okay. Uh, I thought the mother said monsters are real, but turns out she was wrong. Like, come on, like, come on, look. If I have to hear that one more fucking time, let me see. If I have to hear someone say, They said monsters aren't real, but they were wrong. Or, the, these, these guys aren't the real monsters. We are the real monsters after all. I swear. With cheesy shit like this, with, with like, with babies for social commentary. God, I swear. These people would be like, we're making. People would be like, yeah, we're making like high quality, high commentary stuff. And then it's like stuff I heard a million times already. I'm not saying it's this game. But that line did remind me of it. Did 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 sound very cheesy and like, like yeah. Hell is what the fuck? Hell is us. Oh my god, that sounds. It sounds like the. It's, oh god. Uh. Oh, it's VR, I don't care. Something happened. Horror game? Horror game? Oh, it's Buts VR. Damn it. You said there were peoples. That's a book? Anyway. Cacao. So, how does it feel to learn the truth about the night sky tragedy? Is this Assassin's Creed? Long ago. Oh, trigger warning. Hanging. <laughs> Sorry, that was too late. I didn't know. Not really in that interested. <laughs>
Wait. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the Pokemon, like, copy. Oh, God, they're gonna be like, let's juice ugly hot guys. I do swear. Oh, God, that guy was ugly. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't, like, I don't give a fuck about what happens. Like, Nintendo, like, does whatever. Like, honestly, honestly, I want Nintendo to stop being a little bitch, but... <laughs> Um, excuse me, uh, <laughs> I mean, Nintendo sometimes can, it's sometimes too harsh, but, but also, Power World is very derivative, so it's not like, I'm not, I don't really care, I don't really care, it's very derivative, so it's not like, so, yeah. Oh. Older games? <gasps> RPG! 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 My baby! R looks like it's made RPG maker! Oh, that looks <laughs> Well, well... Oh no, my computer, no! <laughs> no! Oh, what the fuck? Come on, why must I do this to me? <laughs> well, this does look very, well, this is very old school. This is the games I'll play like if I have nothing else to play. Then. Don't care, anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Fuck. I'm not gonna care about this. <laughs> Anyway, rah. Rah, 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 rah. <gasps> Oh, I see. Oh, I saw this. I saw this on Twitter. I saw this on fucking Twitter. I saw this on Twitter. <sighs> it's hot topic. It's hot topic. I, I, that's kind of iconic, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of iconic. Kind of iconic. I mean, there's no the devil from the Bible, but... <laughs> Honestly... The fuck, this is like near. Uh, I'm not gonna care about this. Anyway, I'm gonna clean my nails, do my nails. Quick. Hello, State of Prey. I'm Sakaguchi, a producer of Fantasy Anime. Technically, it's your name of the star, Fantasy Anime. Well, oh, okay, that's actually really pretty, but what a game. Oh, that's interesting, making your diorama, but will it actually be good gameplay? And that's not the only and be and not have the diorama be actually the only good thing about it. I don't know. It depends. You know I must say most games are fucking mid as fuck. Oosh. This like I said, this is another game that um, I'm not gonna care. <laughs> I'm not gonna care. I don't care. Let us see, a lot of Sony games I don't care. It's mostly like... Unless they're doing like cool new shit or like remakes or like new entries to series, then that's when I care, but most of the time I'm not gonna care. Challenger. 
Oh, my nails are getting so long. I love it. I'm gonna put on this kind of lime, light, 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 light green color. I like how this is becoming a nail tutorial instead of a thing, but honestly, I'm gonna use this light green color and just gonna put it on. So, yeah. I like, I like bright colors. It's not fall. This is, this is, this would not be perfect. I don't have a perfect color for summer because this is too light for brat. It's too light for brat. It needs to be a little bit more green, darker green. Not too much, but like, yeah. But yeah. I hate it. I have it in my teeth. All my teeth are fucked up. Because <laughs> I always have to open things on my fucking mouth. Those are good for your teeth. Yeah. And. <laughs> Let me just say, from all the times I open shit with my teeth, I only have these two little crooked teeth and all my teeth and the rest of my teeth are perfect straight mm-hmm some of you bitches who be brushing your teeth every day i mean uh <laughs> i see them bitches be super crooked i mean i'm not the best but i'm not like the worst at it because it's depression it's depression sometimes i'm like ah i don't want to get out of bed it's like oh, i'm not gonna do it but hey, my teeth are straighter than the people, than some people who be brushing their teeth every day and not chew on things, so. What does that really say about me? I'm just built different. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. Oh, new thing? Finally. Epic Games? BC's research department set up a facility. The Lake House. <sighs> if I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, I would have just kept on driving. What is it? Why does that sound like Stephanie Beatrice? Beatrice. Okay, Alan Wake. Okay, but I swear that's the second cheesiest thing I've seen today. Besides the monsters under the the mon the monsters are a lie, and a painting screaming misery and hatred. 
What the fuck is this? Is it cheesy? I mean, I feel like it's not. I feel like with Alan Wake, since I've heard the good things about it, it's not going to be like. I don't think it's going to be that show. Not, I'm, I don't think it's going to be that like talky and like saying its message. But that did not give me confidence because that that was a little stupid and cheesy. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I'm not caring. Oh, I don't care. Pfft. I like to say I play. I only you only care about like one thing. Few know the truth. Oh, this look. What the fuck is this? A fucking Paradise Lost kind of story? <laughs> no, that's not cheesy. What are you talking about? That's not cheesy. That's not cheesy. That's not. Wait, isn't this the one Jack was raving about on Twitter? Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 and 2 Remastered arrives December 10th, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the first game's release. Are you sure we can't just take a chance? Games from the original PlayStation era also inspired Fear the Spotlight from Longhouse Games. It brings atmosphere oh. scare to I mean, I swear. This looks like every other low poly kind of horror game, indie horror game, but I will try it out. Cause it does look like every other indie game who wants to do something, who wants to do retro gaming, who wants to do like a retro game look. So, but I'm willing to give it a try because it does look, looks like it has a budget. So, but that doesn't mean. Just because you have a budget doesn't mean the game's gonna be good. So. This colorful world includes unique creatures, a peculiar cast of characters, and also allows you to invite other players to visit your island. Towers of Agangba launches into early access this November. Up next, Epic Games brings a split screen mode to LEGO Fortnite this October. <laughs> Like a Fortnite. I don't, I don't care. I'm not a Fortniter. Okay, I'm not a Fortnite gamer. Okay, I'm not a bubble born baby. Okay, I don't play Fortnite. I did when I was like very young, when I was a bubble born baby, but then I got bored of it. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. I don't know. Shooting games are just not my thing. I remember I told my friend, I told a friend that I was like, oh, that my brother plays Fortnite, and I told him he's like, oh, he's like 19, and he was like, and my friend was like, they play Fortnite? Yeah, it's just not a game. I I don't. What what the fuck? Well, I really have no place to judge. Literally, no me. I have no place to judge. <laughs> I have no place to judge. I love Bluey. <laughs> love Bluey. But I recognize it's for kids. I recognize it's for kids and how like. But they actually make it for adults to play to like 
so. Yeah, for adults to like, for parents to like. I'm not either. Cause I will never be a bubble born baby. But some of those episodes do be cute. This is dry for a little bit because I swear to fuck it's gonna get fucked up. Patrick Stice, I know that voice actor. I know that voice. Anyway. Oh, this is Monster Hunter? <laughs> I like how I know that just because of Hunter. Just because of Hunter, I already know it's Monster Hunter. <laughs> See? Hey yo. Hey yo. I'm just so smart and I already know what Monster Hunter was announced on this thing, so. <laughs> ワイルドプロデューサーの元です。本作の発売日は2024年2月28日世界同日発売に決定いたしました。本日より順次予約を開始しますので、ぜひ予約いただければと思います。プレイステーションストアでご覧いただける月下で見にアートブックをご用意し
spots aren't cheap, so let's get started. Oh my god, that's all. Her with a mysterious past and her uh, very heroic friends are all that stands in the way of an unspeakable evil. Uh, uh, join them as they explore, hunt like wacky outfits, and decorate their village. Nailed it. This is awesome. But wait, there's more with the digital deluxe edition. Damn it. Is is the original Forbidden West made for kids or teens? It has to be made for teens at least, but what, whatever. I'm you know what? Whatever. I'm not gonna question anything. You know what? Maybe I might play this game because, yeah. Includes more than 10 hours of re-recorded conversation mocap and countless graphical improvements that bring the game. Yeah, maybe I might play it. Maybe. I don't know. She looks cool. I don't know. I have a thing for redheads. I don't know. I think Merida is pretty cool. I wouldn't date her, but she's just really cool. And I have a biggest celebrity crush on Chaperone. So. Baby. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't know. Ever since Chaperone, I just love redheads. <laughs> and Chaperone, she she could do nothing wrong. She is what everyone wants to be, but is too afraid to be. New content is on the way to the action-packed world of Stellar Bloom. A new photo mode lets players set up the perfect picture with your choice of poses, expressions, and filters. Project Diva did it first. <laughs> Project Diva. <laughs> oh, Project Diva, I love you. You know what? I would pay big stacks of money for a project, new Project Diva game. I would pay so much money. Oh my God, a near a near DLC? Don't care. Anyway. <laughs> um. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Um. New Project Diva game, they're never gonna make one because of Project Sekai. <laughs> but yeah, they're never gonna make a new Project Diva game since X was pretty bad. I was like, Doki Doki! From the original PlayStation arriving later this year, Blood Omen, Legacy of Pain, and Capcom's Dino Crisis. Naughty Dog fans know September 26th is The Last of Us Day, and we're celebrating by adding the critically acclaimed PS5 hit The Last of Us Part 1 to the PlayStation Plus game catalog this Thursday. Is that it? No, uh, not yet. I don't think so, at least. Oh, a multi-chrome controller? Is that shimmery? Is that like a shimmery white? That's a multi-chrome? No, it's just a shiny thing. No, a multi-chrome, a shiny, and a metallic. I know, I know my shimmers. That's just metallic. Well, is it multi-chrome? Yeah, it's multi-chrome because of the green and yellow finish. Green and yellow. Or is it a light green? I have no idea. I can't tell. It's hard to tell in, the, in this light. It's hard to tell. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark C. We recently revealed the newest addition to the PlayStation 5 family, PS5 Pro. Alongside several games showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics that the 
new console makes possible. With PS5 Pro, developers have access to three key improvements. An upgraded GPU, advanced ray tracing, and AI-driven upscaling that combine to bring developers closer to realizing their unique vision. We're excited for players to get their hands on PlayStation 5 Pro when it launches this November. But in the meantime, here's a look at some of the games that are being enhanced for the new console, including a few titles that we're revealing for the very first time today. I'm gonna say, I don't, I don't give a fuck about PS5 Pro. My PS5 is decent. I don't play a lot of games on it because there's not a lot of games. But I don't give a fuck about the highest quality ray tracing or whatever the fuck. I literally don't care. If I wanted that, I could just... I don't care about it. I don't care about ray tracing. It's not really like... Something I'm like... <sighs> Besides, I want something for a disc. I like physical media, okay? Is that it? Nope. Oh, is that like Ghost of Yote? I like how I know every game that's already announced in State of Play. <laughs> Just weird scrolling up. Yep, it's not your day. Your day. Your day, son. Hey, I know Japanese! I swear, ever since Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, everyone's a Ronin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna fuck I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I love an Oni mask. I love uh what's what's the female Oni? Yabaiba? Yababaina? <laughs> what's that female Oni mask? Yababa <laughs> It's not Yababaina. Yaba Gaga, Yaba. Fuck. I forgot what a female Oni is. Oh, it's with the H. Ho Hori Ni. Horia Yurea. I forgot it. Nisen Nisen Niju Go Nisen Niju Go 
Okay, well, I guess that's it then. I mean, not, nothing too crazy in terms of this. It is not too crazy. I don't really care. I just want Layton. <laughs> that's, they don't, of course, they don't have Layton because Layton is only is a Switch exclusive. I think I'm pretty sure it's a Switch exclusive. You know what? Let's watch Layton. <laughs> Where the fuck is Layton? Okay, uh, level five. Just look up Layton. Just look up fucking Layton. Just look up Layton. Cause I love Layton. Wait, is there a new one? How long is this one? Okay. I mean, I don't think there's anything crazy with Layton. I don't think. Oh, I'm gonna watch this later. Oh, hello! Hello, Sailor! Okay, Sailor, watch later. To the world's children? Aw. That's cute. I mean, Layton is a kid's game. But I like it. It does what it does good. It does what it does pretty good. I think it does good. And it doesn't feel like, like, that's why I like Layton. It doesn't feel like a kid's game. It doesn't feel like a kid's game. I think that's why I like it. Because I know, I know it's a kid's game. But it doesn't, like, feel like, because it's not overly marketed it's not like trying to appeal to kids it's just doing its own thing and it's just it's just for kids it's the earliest thing you play is for kids but yeah that's why i like it i like when like things are like younger i meant for younger audiences but they don't feel like it <laughs> yeah you can analyze it actually wait, let me i don't know if this one's different because sometimes there's like different trailers that I've Water will No! Down in Oh, it's the same thing. Water water. Okay. So first up. Okay, just to know. Ghost? No 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 no. Layton does not have anything paranormal. It has science fiction. Okay, the closest thing to paranormal it has is that Nessie monster. Is that Nessie thing in Last Spectre? But honestly, late in the science fiction. With the Azran Legacy and like the steampunk stuff and the advanced technology. Late in the science fiction. Like, that is it. Like, like that's Layton. Like, I don't think anything paranormal. I think, I think, yeah. So I think the ghost is a hologram. Which is gonna shoot Layton with a real bullet, and then we're gonna be like, oh no! And also, and also, also, because it is twenty something years, is a year after Steam, after it's a year after World of Steam, and then Alfendi is takes and the this place takes place twenty something years later, and Alfendi's like twenty seven. So I think we might meet Alfendi as a child here. I think we're gonna meet Alfendi as a child in this game. That's my big theory. My big theory. We're gonna be see Alfendi as a little baby boy, but remember, he's gonna be. Remember, his docile thing is fake, so we're gonna see him as a little feral little kid. So, we're gonna see him as a feral kid. So that's what I think. Alfendi is American, even though like, but Alfendi doesn't have. But that would have been. You know what? Wreck Hunt. I don't give a fuck. We're gonna meet Alfendi because it would make sense. And then a year later, Catriel. Then I, cause this is, cause then you, cause this game it might fuck with the timeline a little bit. They might have to retcon some timelines because of other stuff. But yeah, like I said, I think Alfendi is gonna be in this game. It's 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 a very big stretch, but I want to see Alfendi as a little baby. <gasps> if he's a baby and very young, then well, he's not really gonna get the British accent. Well, maybe. He might get the British accent. He might get the British accent from the American and then having a British accent. But yeah. Anyway, Alfendi's gonna be in this game. Mark my words. <laughs> Go see Gunslinger, like I said, a hologram. Mysterian incident. Okay, so there's like a secret thing in the city of Steam Bison. Oh, and I love this song. Oh my god, that's so latent. 
It's so late. It looks different because I kind of miss the kind of drawn pictures and people kind of like idle about. But yeah. But yeah. But it's 3D. But I'm not like, oh, but they have the drawings on the map. But the oh, the map is really pretty. We really like it. And they still have like the thing I can click on. Not seek a new world? <gasps> are we gonna- Are we gonna talk about imperialism? No, we're not. We're not- we're talking about- Are we gonna talk about industrialization of a civilization and how it's- And how it's bad? Well, not bad, but like, how it affects people. It's not. Okay, I just- Okay, when- Okay, when you're an actor. And you're an actor. And you do a lot of script analysis, because that's a lot of classes I take. You, obviously, for script analysis, you have to think very deep. You have to have- Basically, to be the best actor, you have to have the best media literacy. And media literacy is all I do in those types of class in those classes where you study scripts. So whenever time I get in to see a thing and piece of media, I'm always like going deep diving, okay, what's the bigger implications? Imperialism <laughs> and industrialization. So I'm just like my brain is like going like high. It's like it's kind of on the it's kind of like searching for like that like big thing. Oh, he does a trickery. It's a hologram. <gasps> He's Atsune Miku! <laughs> oh my god, Layden's getting shot. Oh, um, he controls machines underground that causes earthquakes. The most puzzles. Oh god, this this is gonna drive me fucking crazy. This game is gonna drive me crazy with puzzles, but there's a lot of puzzles, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, we'll we'll see how bad we we'll see we'll see how how this game is with puzzles because I still think the the game with the worst puzzles is Curious Village. I I'm still haunted by that T block. I'm still- I'm still- I'm still butter about that T-block. I'm still butter. I get fuck it's petty, it's my ranking. They don't look that bad. They just look like some puzzles. <gasps> oh, I get a little robot boy. And, uh, I swear. Did Richard- I don't- I don't know who's gonna be Luke, but they better be Christopher Miller, I think that's his name, as Layton, because that's the only voice! Christopher Miller! Is the only prof late. He's only my only late. Ellen twenty twenty five. Which sucks. Mm, cast. Well, the cast are Japanese. It's gonna have English. Obviously. This is like classic. Like it's gonna be on the Switch. I feel like they have to have the they have to have Christopher. If they don't have Christopher Miller, I'm gonna be mad because he's the best one. Unless, unless, listen. I just they just need to keep the same voice. Me, if if they're gonna switch an actor, make it sound the same. He did. Hmm. Okay. So like I said, like I said, either Elfendi's gonna be in this game or Catriel's mom. It's gonna be on this. Be in this game. If I see a girl with darker hair. That's pregnant, she has curls. That's Catriel's mom. So, either Alfandi or Catriel's mom. Nothing else. Uh, Layton gets a girlfriend. Finally, because he's like, you know what? I had a year to kind of get off my trauma of my of Claire. <laughs> this is after Lost Future. God, that game still fucked me up. That game fucked me up. That just, oh my god, that game fucked me up so bad. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, that was this. We liked it. I was fucking around, but yeah, we liked it. 
Yeah, this was it's, it's doing what it's doing. Anyway, see you later. Space Young Gamers.